Okay, the last face in our Analyzing Men series is Matthew Noska, or Noska, and he's a professional model, and clearly probably going to score high, so we're going to take a look at his flaws and strengths. We'll begin with the side profile. So the first thing we notice is that his nose is a little bit more upturned than ideal, and it is about nasal labial angle so this is a nasal labial angle and his is about 119 to 100 take a look in this photo as well so 119 that photo is not as a uh, forward on but you can see it's slightly more upturned than ideal, but 119 is really close to the ideal range, which maxes out at 117. So typically lower angles are more masculinizing, but anywhere up to 117 degrees is still ideal. So he only gets an ever so slight point deduction for that. And next thing we'll look at is okay we're not going to do a lot in the side profile I guess I guess there's more in the front so the next thing is the nasal width to height ratio which we have to take a Frankfurt plane which is at the top of the ear to the cheekbones the bottom of the zygomatic bone and his nasal width to height ratio is not ideal, it's slightly too short so or rather this is the measurement so I'll do it in blue it is the pink line here divided by this blue line width to height ratio and his is slightly too low at about 0.58 when ideally you want to be 0.62 to 0.88 is the pleasant range. 0.62 to 0.88 is the pleasant range in males. And in women we'll see that it's a little bit lower. His nose just isn't very protruded relative to how high it is in his mid face. Or the length, the total height. All these terms are kind of interchangeable. but. His gonial angle is slightly high within the ideal range, so it is still ideal, but he has it at about take it more accurately here. It's about 120 to 122 degrees. Or 123, which is still in the ideal range, but not as low and masculinized. And perhaps one thing that affects that is his ramus is quite short. So this is one of his first major flaws. His ramus is only 0.45 times his mandible when it should be ideally 0.7. That should be the ideal. So as you can see, his ramus is just considerably short. And even in this photo, you can see he lacks that depth and 3D-ness to his jaw outline. So instead you can see his jaw is only about this size when it could be with a longer ramus this size. If that makes sense. It's not a perfect depiction. However, that is only one flaw. Um, his mandible inclination is actually perfect as well. It's about 20 degrees. And I can show that like this. So to find the mandible inclination, you have to take a Frankfurt plane as a frame of reference because if you just do it by hand and just randomly like this, it's it's not really that accurate. So this line has to be parallel to the plane and we'll just do a rough approximation because I've already went through and done it beforehand. And his is ideal at about 20 
I have it measured at 20.1 degrees, which is perfectly ideal. And it's not going to be exactly the same here because I'm just roughly drawing the lines to show how parallel they should be. Okay, his overall side profile score is nothing exceptional, but it's also not terrible. It's 74%. That's still considerably high uh, facial harmony in the side. Take a look at the front now, and the front is really where he exceeds. He has an exceptionally high frontal facial harmony. And his total face shape is perfectly ideal. So his face is exactly 1.34 times longer than it is wide. And this is perfectly ideal. His facial width to height ratio is also perfectly ideal at 1.98. And his cheekbones are extremely high set, which is quite common among top models. And you take it at the widest part of the face, as you can see it's about here. And then we see how high up that is, up the mid face. So we take this line, where I'm depicting here, and I'll do it in uh, blue actually, and then we divide it by this line which is up to the line and his cheekbones are about 85.5 percent which is extremely high anything above 81 is very high set i think the highest set we've seen is brad pitt which is above 90 percent but anything above 81 is, is really all you need you don't need crazy high set cheekbones We'll take a look at his mid face now and his uh, eye separation. So his mid face ratio is a perfect one to one square. In red. So this is a perfect one to one ratio, which is ideal. His eye spacing is also perfectly ideal. His interpupillary distance, or the distance between his pupils, is 44.32%, which I still consider maximum scoring, as after taking the average of 22 males and the mean and the standard deviation, you can see that this is within a reasonable range and it's ideal. I mean, preferably you'd be exactly 46%, but I can't nitpick to that level. Like, There needs to be a kind of range. So anywhere from 44.3, he's at the bottom, like any lower than this and you would get points deducted. So 44.3 to about 47.7. Within that range, you get maximum points for your eye spacing. And his eyes are exactly one eye apart as well. So he has perfect eye spacing in general, exactly one eye apart. His cantho tilt, or the tilt of his eyes, is also perfectly ideal for a Caucasian male at 70 degrees. So this is the inclination of his eyes. Perfect 7 degree cantho tilt. His eyes are also the perfect shape at about 2.8. So the width of his eyes is 2.83 times the height, which is right at the bottom end of the ideal range of about 2.8 to 3.6. And this just gives you that compact eye appearance. His eyebrow tilt is ideal as well. Um, preferably, actually it, it doesn't ma really matter, but subjectively I think slightly more upturned brows are better looking, but his brows are pretty neutral, they're about 5.2 degrees, which is right at the bottom end of ideal. Any any more downturn than this and you start to get points deducted, because you don't want downturned eyebrows. They make you appear tired or, or lazy. So this is perfectly ideal, they're about neutrally tilted eyebrows. And that is all we'll look at for Matthew and his total frontal profile score is 92.2%, which is extremely high, one of the highest frontal views. 
and in total his score is 85.1% which is extremely high it uh, makes sense, especially since he's a top model. And that ranks number 12. So he is 12th on the list of Facial Harmony among 22, 12 out of 22. And this was the last face, so it doesn't mean we're going to do, we're going to stop doing uh, male faces, but we're definitely going to prioritize women for a few videos. And that is all.